Hello there, in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily approve access requests to SharePoint Online sites directly in your email. So here I am in a modern SharePoint Online that is actually a communication site, but everything I'm going to explain in this video it also applies to modern SharePoint, modern SharePoint Online group sites and also to classic sites. So as you can see, this is a modern SharePoint Online site and I'm going to try to access with another user using a different browser here. Here I am with the user Alex. Even you are seeing that Alex has access to this site, actually, he hasn't. Why? Because I previously removed the access of Alex to this site. So if I hit on enter, as expected, I'm going to have this very common window that is, it shows when a user tries to access a site that uh, he or she doesn't have access to. Um, uh, as an admin, I, can I have configured everything so any user can request access to the site. So in this case, Alice is going to request access to the site. Hi there. I would love to access the internet. Could you please allow me to access him? Thanks. So Alice is going to send the, the access request. Here we go, and now uh, any admin on the site or any owner should receive, depending on the configuration we have, an access request email. So let's verify that. I'm going back to the other session, and from here I'm going to access my email in Office 365. Here we go. And as you can see here, I have just an email with this access request. So I can click on this email, wait for some for wait, seconds. And um, yeah, here is the, the new feature we have uh, when we want to approve or just simple decline access to a separate online site. We can do this process directly from our email. This is actually a new feature I wasn't aware of. That is very cool because without leaving Office 365 and without the requirement to access the specific uh, security setting that allow me to approve or decline access to site, I can just approve or decline this access that is in my email. So the only thing I have to do is just to choose with which permission level I want to uh, provide to Alex in this case. So this is fine and then if everything is good, because uh, yeah, I know that uh, for this reason I'll actually have access to the internet, I can approve it. As soon as I approve this request, it's going to be reflected actually in the email I receive uh, from uh, SharePoint Online. So if I go back to the other session and I refresh the access to the internet, now Alex will have access with uh, with only access to the internet site, so, and it, work, it works as expected. So yeah, just to end this short video, this is actually a very cool feature that allows site admins or site owners to directly approve any re access request uh, to a SharePoint online site directly from email. So uh, there is not a requirement to do the classic approval process. That means to go to site permissions and then go to the advanced permissions, and then um, this is a communication site. I need to uh, access the security settings in this site, and then here I have the access request and invitations. And from here, I can see the list of uh, pending uh, access to the site, and I can approve or deny, and I can see the history of the request in this site. Um, uh, yeah, this is working for a communication site and for a classic site, but as you know, for a monitoring site, a group site, uh, these options to manage the security of the site are hidden. So it's very cool that we can have, we can do this approval process of this decline process directly from email. Um, yeah, now if this all the what I wanted to tell you, I hope you have, uh, I wanted to tell you, I hope you have found this video interesting. And yeah, talk to you soon. Bye bye.